personal, but it's something I had <clears throat> kind of a revelation through. So, um, this month will mark one year my life changed forever. I mean, it was tragic, and it was um, uh, life-changing, but um, there's good coming out of it. As hard as that is to believe, there there is good. And uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the 30th of this month will mark one year that my husband passed away. And... A lot of uh, obvious emotions <laughs> happen, but um, so there I was, and I was like, okay, God, how am I going to do this? How am I going to raise two small children by myself? You know, how am I going to live a life <clears throat> that is completely different than, than what I've known? And I remember the night that uh, that, that happened. Um, let me back up just a little bit. Uh, over the last, before this happened, the last four years ahead of that, um, Heather and I had buried our grandma. That same year we buried our mother. And uh, was it two years later? I believe it was. Not quite two. We buried our aunt that we both were very close with. And then uh, a little bit later, uh, January of last year, we buried our father, and then in September of that same year, I was burying my husband, and that was a lot of loss in four years, and uh, and it was just me and Heather and the kids. <laughs> but um, and I remember Pastor Brian was there that night, and um, and, if you, and any of you guys that know anything about me, I'm very um, I don't like to talk about feelings a lot. I certainly don't like to cry and, and I certainly don't like to be vulnerable. But I looked at him and I said, I can't do this one. I can't. I can't walk through this one. I can't do it. I can't. And he looked at me and he said, no, you can't. And he, you know, and and, uh, and it kind of shocked me, you know, because <laughs> he was like, no, you can't. And he goes, but God can and you can through God. And, you know, the rest of the night was was uh, kind of crazy and stuff. And, <clears throat> you know, next few months went along. And, and um, you know, I had it. The title of my message is, and I'm sorry if I'm all over the place, guys. I, mean, I, I do have some good stuff here. But the title of my, my message is, It's a Choice. So right then and there, I had a choice whether to trust God in his decisions, in his plan for my life, in um, his plan for my children's life, or I could just crumble up right there and try to do it on my own and fail miserably. It was up to me which what I was going to do. And, um, you know, and, and there were many people watching, many um, people that, that, you know, that I worked with and are friends with and things like that. And, and, you know, I witnessed to them, and I talked about my faith in God. And, and so they were watching. How, how is she going to handle this? How is she going to do this? You know, is she going to put her trust in, in the God that she says is faithful and, and good? And, you know, and uh, so anyway, like I said, I had a, ch I had a choice. And um, 
a friend had, had uh, messaged me on Facebook, uh, oh, I don't know, three, four months ago. And she had said, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read this to you because it kind of, this is where I, I kind of got the revelation to what I, I want to tell you. But she said, where do you find the faith and strength to tie the knot and hang on and turn everything over to God to take care of it, sort it out, and truly be in control? And, and I prayed for a few minutes because, you know, I wanted to make sure I gave her the right answer. She was going through things in her life. And that's where I heard, it's a choice. It's a choice to truly, 100%, trust God, turn everything over to God, and say, here, it's yours. You handle it. I'll just sit back here and watch you do it. <laughs> and trust you. And, and, and it's, it's black and white. You know, I know it, it you know, it, sometimes you can think there's some gray areas in there, but it's black and white. You, you either decide to do it, or you decide not to. And um, John, uh, I, I have a lot of word for you guys. Uh, John 16:33. Uh, let let's go ahead and turn there. everybody there <laughs> and it says these things I have spoken unto you that ye might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer I have overcome the world you know and Pastor Brian has talked about this many times you know and we all know this that that you know we are going to have trouble you know God never promised that we're going to go through life without anything ever happening to us without any problems, you know. Um, that that never was spoken in the Word at all. But He did say, um, in Him, we will have peace. And He and to be of good cheer, because He has overcome the world. And that's something that, you know, that, that's, that says a lot. You know, He's overcome the world. He's overcome anything that's ever ever um, happened. I mean, he's, he's, um, he's, sorry. But, um, but we can put our, our faith and our trust in him. Um, and the Bible gives us many examples um, of words of wisdom that we can put our faith and our trust in him when we do have those times of trouble. Uh, Nahum 1.7 says, The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble, and he that know them, and he that knoweth them that trust in him. So, you know, and this tells us when troubles come, we can put our trust in him. He is faithful. Uh, another example is from 2 Samuel 22 3, and it says, The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, and my high tower, and my refuge my Savior. So again, another example of where we can put our complete 100% trust in Him if we choose to. Uh, one more. I actually got two more, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you I got a lot of word here. Uh, Psalms 62.8 8 says, Trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. So, you know, and it, it says, Trust Him at all times, no matter what it is that you're going through, whether you've just lost a loved one, whether you've lost a job, whether you're going through a personal struggle. It just says, trust Him at all times. And pour your heart out, and He's our refuge for us. In Proverbs 3, 5, which is some, a scripture that we all know very well, and it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. And, you know, again, going back to my situation, you know, that was something I really had to put some trust into God. And, and I had to really walk that out and not try to figure that out by myself, not try to figure out the whys and the, you know, but I had <clears throat> to put my trust in God's plan. And, um, uh, 
you know, but uh, um, but like my my friend had asked me, where where did I find the <clears throat> the faith and the strength to tie the knot and to hang on and <clears throat> excuse me and to let God take over and let Him be in control and there's there's some keys there because I you know as long as your your life lines up with the word and you're doing your best to hit the mark and you know and, and everything's straightened out there you know um, the word works you just got to live it out and but you have to choose to do it you have to make that mental note and choose I'm gonna give it to God and I'm gonna let him take care of it and uh, 1 Corinthians 2.5 says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So, you know, our faith should be in God's power, not in, our, you know, us trying to figure things out or, or someone else trying to figure things out. We need to put our faith in God and trust Him. And uh, another good example is another... Uh, scripture that we all know very well is 2 Corinthians 5, 7, for it says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. You know, <clears throat> things things now, they still look, you know, things aren't certain, <laughs> you know. Um, I'll be honest with you, I look at my future and they're not certain as far as what my future was a year ago. Um, you know, but, but I put my faith in God and my trust in God, and, and I don't look... I don't live by what it looks like or, or what my mind tries to figure out. I live it by my walk with God and my faith with, with God. And Mark 11, 22 says, have faith in God. But again, it's a choice. It's it's a choice you have to make every single day. I have to make it every single day before I get out of bed. You know, am I going to... Am I going to trust God today to handle whatever comes my way? You know, am I going to trust God to give me the wisdom on how to discipline my children? You know, how to raise my son to be a man that I know nothing about? You know, and, um, but every day I have to trust that God's got it under control and, and God's going to, going to take care of it. But I have to let him, you know, and, and not pick it back up again. And, um, um, and as we, we trust in God, and, you know, and as we make that choice every single day, and, and as we, um, I don't want to say it gets easier, but, but it gets, you know, as you, you trust Him, you know, like tithing, you know, when you pay your tithes and stuff and you trust Him, and then when the next battle comes around, it's a little bit easier to to trust and, and to go on and, and and even now you know as I've trusted and, and walked out this path that that, that God has laid before me <clears throat> um, I have I have seen him working I have you know and as you walk in that faith and as you walk in, in God's plan and you trust him he kind of reveals a little bit of the picture to you as you go and um, you know, going back to to Darren, that that whole situation is so much bigger than me and him. And um, you know, Darren's family um, is getting closer to God, and they're just about there, just about there <laughs> to you know to turn their lives over. And you know, and I, it's and again, it's something good that, that came out of that. You know, it's all about souls. It's all about, you know, winning souls from the king, you know, for the kingdom and snatching them out of the pits of hell. And and even through that, um, I'm becoming closer with his family. And where I didn't have a family or parents, I now consider them very close parents and I think you Heather does too you know where where we were kind of missing that part you know this when you're closer uh, to them and there's there's many more blessings and and um, I could go on all night and talk to you about how good God has been through all of this you know and 
Um, yes, we walk through a very difficult time. We're still walking through a difficult time, but God has been so faithful. And but again, I had to make that choice to to let Him be at work and to let Him. Um, Just take over, and um, uh, and again, people are watching. You know, um, I, at work, you know, people. Uh, I've had people that have come up to me and said, "I," and, and I'm not talking about me. It's just God shining through me. But but they're saying I have not seen a person that trusts and accepts God God's plan and walks it out and and people are looking for that people are looking for people that you know i mean we we tell people to trust god and to to let him you know turn your problems over and turn everything over and, and but sometimes when tragedy hits our life we're like <laughs> oh no god help me <laughs> you know we run around you know kind of like the chicken with the head cut off but but they're you know, we're doing what they would do, you know, and and so they're they're looking for people that really uh, they grasp that and that that doesn't just talk about something they know about it, they lived it, they've experienced it, and you know they said God helped me through this, God walked me through this, I trusted God, He can help you. All you have to do is let Him. And um, you know and. Um, like Pastor Brian has talked, and I think Sister Patty did too, about people are reading your story. You know, your life is an open book, and people are reading your story. And then, um, you know, people are looking and reading to see if you're personally living by what you say. So, but it's, but again, it's a choice. It's a choice to turn it all over and let him handle it. a good word that we can uh, apply to our lives that, that we do have a choice no matter what we go through and the ups and downs and that people are watching and we can be that open book for them to read because they're looking for that hope. Amen. So tonight